hi everyone welcome to my channel for those of you who are returning thank you so much for coming back and i hope you will really like this video i hope it will be helpful now for those of you who are new to my channel this channel covers content related to physics technical drawing as well as building and mechanical engineering drawing and i will be doing today a continuation of a video i did earlier so the video was about finding the centroid of an irregular shape using the graphical method today what we're doing is finding the second moment of area about xx as well as the second moment of area about the centroid so come calculate with me let's go All right, so from the last video, you would have seen this calculation where we we investigated for y bar, which of course we said was the distance from x, x to the centroid because our shape, let me show you, was symmetrical. And so we know that x, x to centroid from our calculation is 27.36. The reason you're not seeing the 0.36 is because my dimensions are rounded off to whole numbers. All right, so now we're going to go back to calculate our second moment of area about xx. Now remember, you can choose to use, like I'm doing, to use an equation to do your calculations, or you could do it right there in AutoCAD. But either way, it would be pointless for you to do all this calculation and not submit your work. So make sure you go ahead and submit this document, this file, containing your calculation because that is what will guarantee that you get your marks so the formula for second moment so let me just write so what will happen because we used remember we used the symbol for height to be common h so we will apply that So now when we calculate, we're going to get what? When we calculate, we're going to get that second moment of area about xx is equal to 3, 1, 1, 9, 0, 4, 0. And now for the units, we are going to get, so this is squared times one more would be cubed, times another would be fourth. So it's millimeter to the fourth power. All right. Very good. So with that, we would have done the calculation for our second moment of error about XX. So if you get a question and they ask you to do that, then this is how you calculate it. And again, the physics in me wants to put this, you know, in a little bit of standard form. That's the answer in standard form. So now let's go for the other question. The other one that we're going to look at in this video, we're going to be looking at the second moment of area about the centroid. Now, naturally, before you are able to do this calculation, you would first need to go through and have found your second moment of area, second derived figure, and that's where you'd have gotten this value this 960 so you can't do this without doing that part first so if you haven't done it yet go and do that and then you are able to apply this one
So you'd realize that it's kind of a process. So you have to do one before you do the other. It's just like that. Minus. And please don't be intimidated by these things. It's really simple, simple things. So you'll recognize that because of all these technical things that I have to do, that's why I chose to use equation because it gives me that kind of convenience. And this is the beauty of using computers in your calculations. You can copy. If I was doing this by hand, I would have to, and I'm going to bracket this here, I would have to go ahead and um, be rewriting, rewriting. But, you know, when we're doing these things by computers, we just simply copy and paste. Of course, naturally keeping the units arranged, we have square here times another one, cube times another one, four. So now our units are aligned, so we can subtract. I just need to hear. And that is your answer. So if you, you of course could write it in full. So it would be 873,000 millimeters to the fourth power. And so that concludes the calculations. I do hope this video was, of course, useful. I hope you understood and I hope you are able to apply this to your, whatever area you're studying and be able to get those maximum points all right guys that's it thanks for watching thanks for joining if you are new don't forget to like subscribe and share this video if you believe it will help others each one help one so don't keep this goodness to yourself go and help somebody else to complete this problem and be able to better understand so that they can take on the challenge of doing other questions all right so if you want to know when I post new videos, you must remember to click that bell so that you will be notified whenever I make a post. Thanks for watching. See you next time.